I'm more convinced. I can actually hear a, a clearer now hacking. I can hear people chopping. And this is pure evidence that they're doing it. This is clearing. This isn't just to protect the road, although I can understand them doing it there. I can understand that for safety reasons. And if they might need to widen the road a bit. First, when I first came here, it was just a sand track. There's a way up there as well, see? But I can hear somebody up there. Up there is a track that goes down the side that I'll be joining up with in a minute. And they're doing a lot of work there, but it looks to me like they're down here as well. Yeah, look at it all. Ah. Yeah, it's a lovely walk this so. Lovely walk. Nice and peaceful at the moment. I decided to do this. I thought, well, you know, I do the backbone of the wood so often. I don't do this as often and I don't want to do it that often. But I will try and get here in the heat of the summer one day. So you can see all these trees with their leaves. So I'm just going to just video that tree, you know, because we're going up to a plaque in a minute. In fact, since I said I heard the, I, it stopped. Yeah, the bus will be going by in a minute. Be making its way back along, I should imagine, very soon. Very soon. Look at it, everywhere you look, they're hacking. They want to expose all this, everyone. Why am I might see what's wrong with that? What you've got to remember is all this is a home to different types of wildlife, plant and animal. All sorts of things, insects, bees, butterflies, little tiny mammals like voles and mole, you know, all that sort of thing. And, um, and the fungi and the lichens and the mosses and the ivy, everything is a home. It's all got a function as well. And people say, oh, look at that ivy. It protects habitats. They just want to strip it bare, and what's going to happen is the hill fort will eventually just erode. And now you've got a plaque there, a nice little plaque showing somebody hacking down a tree. Now, this last year was the year of the tree, right? And everyone's supposed to love trees. And they've been planting them in town, apparently. Trees that are going to be attacked because they're in the middle of the town. Trees that are going to cause its roots to um, threaten buildings and pavements, making pavements unsafe. They, it's not the tree's fault. And at the same time, they're up here hacking, clearing, raking, axing. And I put that on a site, I said. I just said, the irony and the hypocrisy. Planting these little trees in the town, at the same time hacking down perfectly good trees that are absorbing the carbon dioxide. We're in a crisis. They keep we're trying to tell people the crisis we're in. The planet will start, when it goes past a certain point, the planet will start dying. The trees will die naturally. And then we're in big trouble. It won't be in my lifetime. 
not unless there's some sort of catastrophe and that, that could happen the way the world's going with the nuclear threats from Putin and him being now supported by China lots of things are going on weapons are being exchanged on a quite a big scale now they're preparing for a world war now I'm not a nutter I watch the news I listen to Radio 4 I listen to documentaries and I've been observant all my life and I just feel, for example, this is a little hint thing. They've now told us to be, not to be worried, but there's going to be a, an alert practice on our mobile phones. A siren type noise. Now, doesn't that tell you something? Where are they digging some secret bunker somewhere for us to escape? Doubt it. The rich will have them. Of course they will. There's probably a bunker in this wood that they'll go to. The rest of us would just have to rot or be vaporised. And like I said before, if it's quick, I don't care. I don't particularly want, want to end my days yet. I've got lots to do. Um, but you see, America, often a bit, bit like big bullies, they're not right in the firing line, although they are if there's a nuclear war. Korea is already preparing its people for a nuclear war. North Korea huh? said it in the news yesterday. I know you can't always be believe the news. Now there's an American election in a couple of years or so's time. And um, President Trump is once again standing. Now, he, I don't see him as any more a threat of putting his finger on the button than Biden or anyone else, to be quite honest. They're gun-ho, trigger-happy Americans. America is great in all that. Putin's lost the plot a bit. Christ knows why he's done this to himself. He was actually doing really well. He had his oligarchs. Greed. Power and control. This is slaughter, isn't it? Look at this. Look at what they're doing here. Absolutely amazing. This is since I was here last, by the way. They've stopped now, though. Not the clearers haven't, but the big axes have, because it's the nesting season. Lots of parallels with war when I look at things like this. This is destruction. Destruction of our living earthlings on a big scale for a wood like this. Big tree up there cut. Yeah, it's all happening here. God, this one, like this one I came a couple of months ago. It wasn't all hacked up like this. They're working their way along. Word's probably gone out that I'm out. Um, I don't know. I'm, I don't know if anyone else does any uh, narration or, or commentary about the place. I don't know. I've never come across anybody. I've been recording the woods for years, and every now and again, I put a really nice video on of the wood, winter or summer, in its glory. You see, they want to expose all the various humps and bumps in this wood to show the fort. If you think of um, row barrel fort, it's very naked. I think it's bigger than this place. And, it, and, they've, and it's still nice to have it like that, but this is a different fort. Why can't we leave the trees? From a distance, you can see this is a hill fort, even with the trees. Yeah, so it looks like to me they've got up that there a bit, they've done some. I don't know if the bus went past yet. Might have missed it with me talking. Hello, where are you? I can hear you. Are you another little robin? It's funny, as such a small bird, as such a loud 
tune. That is Robin. He's busy. They're busy now making their nests. He's letting me know I'm passing through his territory. Right, I'm going to turn off. There's some nice photos to take. Right, we're going up and down, back on again. Yeah, see, they're doing it everywhere. They will say they might be wanting to widen the road, make the road safer. It's true, and I understand it. I do understand that. But I also know some of the features that they want to clear back to see, all these humps and bumps that they want to... ditches and vallums and... It's longer than you think, this route, you know, and then it is much longer this way because you've got to go uphill more, but it's good for you. Now I'm looking at all this here. It has been cleared a bit, but just, there's a little, little valley back there and it was rich with stuff that they haven't touched. But then you're back here on this section again, they start again. But then it could be the council. There's been clearing on the other side of the road there. Sea's still out. I don't know when it's coming in. Various seats on route here and some lovely gnarled trees that have been here a long time. Witness of history and time. And uh, see, there's another feature, if you like, of a hill fort these um, ditches going up, say. I don't see why they want to c c clear everything, really. I, I can't see the point. I really don't know why they're doing it. We can see them like this, even with the trees on, we can see. There won't be a hill fort, hill fort worth defending if the, we all get killed off by the flipping nuclear war or, or, or and all the trees die anyway. Yeah, it seems a lot longer than I think about, but I'm enjoying it. It's very, very peaceful. And it's nice to look out at the sea. That's what I love about living near the seaside. Anyway, over and out for now, folks. We're now going up the steepest part of the walk. Uphill. I'll just do a bit of it. Then we'll be on the main track. One of the main tracks that comes down the side of the hill fort down to Burnbeck Pier. I'll just get up this bit. Then I've just got to go up there. And that's when we'll see more clearing destruction. But I'm going to stop and have a drink here. I'll just get up there a bit. I've got a bottle of juice I need to have now, just up here. Where I can lean on the railing. There is a seat, but I think I'll have it here. Just here. Oh. Over now. 